Hello and welcome to another episode of Mole React here on my channel. My name is Chaos Mole and today we are watching the 10 minutes of gameplay for the day before, which is kind of interesting. I thought they don't have the name rates anymore. Maybe they figured something out or maybe it was just made up. Uh, you probably heard all of the stories regarding the day before and that the developers been seen as sketchy and this game is basically vaporware and doesn't exist at all. Now, a few weeks ago, they have promised us to show 10 minutes of gameplay, right? And then they were like, yeah, next week, it's the big week. It will finally happen. You will see the gameplay before the game is releasing a few weeks afterwards. And well, in the week where it should have happened, of course, uh, something was throwing a wrench in there. And there was apparently that they didn't secure the copyright for the name in the US, which is like, wait, what? How do you, what? And somebody else did, and they got a cease and desist letter. And then they had to postpone the game into November, which then turns out had nothing to do with the name rights as they then admitted, and that they had this planned anyways. And it's all super sketchy. So, they even said that they didn't they didn't know if they can actually show the gameplay now that they got the cease and desist letters and they have to talk to their lawyers, which of course is complete bullshit because the only thing which happened is that they got the name rights, right? Um, and they didn't have anything to do with the gameplay. But here we are, 10 minutes of gameplay. I haven't seen this yet. I'm also recording this live on my YouTube channel. So if you are sometimes wondering why am I talking to some people out of nowhere, it's my chat. Um, I'm normally trying to focus solely on the gameplay when I do those reaction videos. But in this case, I will also chat with my community if they have to say something which is noteworthy. And I, will, I, I might even pause because this is 10 minutes and man, there is a lot to digest. So with that said, let's get into the day before. And let's see what they have. Running! Look, our game runs. And there is some very, very tight shorts. Holy moly. That's, that's ass. Damn. Dude, okay. Is it just me? Or are they trying to give us some Last of Us vibes? With with the hairstyle and all that? If the dude in front of us is just looking remotely like Joey. Joel? I was mispronounced his name. Like, come on, man. Okay. So we are still running. And running and running and running and running. <laughs> Walking Simulator 2023 with even more ass. <laughs> okay, so it seems like we are getting into a house. Uh, so far, nothing, nothing crazy. Yeah, keep in mind, this is 10 minutes and they deliberately choose the first two minutes to just be a character running around. Workbench time? Workbench time. Oh my god, that's some generic music. <laughs> okay, there are a lot of attachments. <laughs> what I find always hilarious is it's a Russian game, right, by Russian developers. And it's in the USA as far as we can understand. And of course the characters are running around with an AK. <laughs> it's like, yeah, right. Okay. There seems to be like a lot of changes you can do. That's kind of cool. Gives me some talk up vibes. Question is, what does it do? It changes some of the bars. Oh gosh, no. No. Oh, thank God. Okay, that's a bit better, but that looks still weird. Huh. I mean, it's nice to see a little bit of modification here. 
So that's what they're working on. Also, the game is laggy as hell. I don't know what they're running on, but I don't think it's even 30 FPS. They're also trying to move very slowly. Because they know the performance will be absolutely shit. <laughs> but, eh. I still have time. Okay, that was what? Five minutes of running around and modifying the weapon? Okay, scouring the areas. Yeah, the performance is not great. Wow, this became dark very quickly. I mean, the atmosphere is not bad, right? Of course, she, she is using silencer. And he's just... Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Suppressor. Sorry. My bad. FCC. Fried crispy chicken. I love chicken. Yeah, that alarm is on. Oh, so the one was right. Okay, this is one of the weirdest, like, security things. You can do. So two numbers were wrong. That doesn't that doesn't sound very secure. Let me give you the numbers till you are right. Yeah again the performance is wow. This is probably why they wanted another half a year. I wonder how much you can go into the buildings and all. They're, they're definitely on purpose ignoring the staff on the sidewalks. They're completely ignoring it. That they're also walking through here by night is another thing which is like, uh-huh. I know it's they probably will argue it's to give you like the vibes and making it more spooky and all that. And it's like, no, it's that we see less. <laughs> I'm sorry, every everything this studio is doing, I watch with a lot of skepticism. Gives me a lot of division vibes. I've said this before, when I played the Division 1 and 2, I always waited for the moment that there are some, some zombies coming around the corner, and it would have been fine. Never happened, of course, but, you know. I should have, like, locked it to 30, even though I think it's not even running at 30. This is so dumb. I mean, why, why is she running around with a suppressor and he is just whatever? The whole neighborhood can hear you. Well, probably multiple blocks. Now 
nice big building can you go in it I I have to say this is boring and I don't necessarily mean the game I hope this is not the game but that they deliberately did choose this area is like why there's nothing going on here we had what two zombie groups which is like yawn they this game is empty as hag. If I wanted to see the surroundings, then, you know, I could have just played the division. Yep, and now the whole building knows that you were here. Congratulations. This just drives me crazy that the dude is like running around without a suppressor at night. Wait. That's it? That's the 10 minutes you did choose? Wow. Yeah, this is what I said before, right? It's like, look, this is the 10 minutes of official gameplay. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm still saying your game is VapoVare. Like, don't get me wrong, there is, um, I don't even know, is it New York? That's the Chrysler building in the background, right? Sorry, not from the States. Um... But it's like, isn't there like a like a demo for like Unreal Engine 5 out there where you can just put New York into your game? Like, I'm, I'm still not convinced by this. I'm still convinced that this game exists. Because running around with equipment and stuff. Like, you can do that very quickly in Unreal Engine. And fortunately and unfortunately, Unreal Engine 5 is giving you a lot of crazy tools where you can put together a lot of things very quickly. Like, this is cool, but as far as I know, this is also something Unreal Engine is bringing to the table with the newest version, that you can really go in-depth in those weapon modifications and that there are some... Um, some things, what are they called, on the marketplace you can buy when it comes to those technologies. Like every, everything I'm seeing here is really just 10 minutes of two people running around opening some shit and collecting items. Like again... This is for people who know how to utilize Unreal Engine and for people who know how to utilize the tools. This is relatively quickly to be made. Now, zombie animations and all that looks pretty cool. But again, this is also something Unreal Engine 5 is just bringing to the table because they have some insane new features. But yeah, they chose 10 minutes of walking around. 10 minutes of just walking around. There's nothing interesting going on. There is no explanation what my goal is besides of running around in New York, in New York City. Sorry. It's, it's boring to watch the least. But I'm still very skeptical. <laughs> Again, this security standard 
whoever came up with that needs to be fired. I think about somebody is trying to break into your house and <laughs> the security system is slowly telling you the numbers you have to enter. <laughs> I was like, hey, easiest break in ever. <laughs> right, you are, you're entering the pin code on your smartphone. I was like, no, sorry, 4 and 3 was wrong. Everything else was right. Please continue. <laughs> I know it's a gameplay mechanic, but it's like, really? That's convenient. Yeah, as I said, they also choose to go out by night. I'm, I'm pretty sure they wanted to, to capture uh, the spookiness of the game. But it's not really spooky. And I believe more that they did it because they wanted to hide how many of those buildings cannot be entered and they're just there. Right. So, I don't know. I'm not convinced. I'm still not believing that the game is coming out in November, that the game is coming out at some point, if at all. And I'm, I'm not convinced by this. Like, this was... If they really planned... And put a gameplay video together... This was one of the worst. <laughs> if... It would, it would be more easier to explain if they would just would say, Hey, we throw this together ha hastily. Like, this is literally somebody hitting OBS, hitting on recording and record for 10 minutes what they are doing in that game. And don't get me wrong, that's fine. But not really what they have promised. And what a lot of people expect from the very first gameplay we see in this game. Right, like keep that in mind. We haven't seen any gameplay ever of this game before. So he want to make a pretty strong impression. And this one is doing anything but that. The impression I get is, oh, generic open world run around zombie game. Well, back to seven days to, day, uh, to die, I guess. <laughs> like, sorry. There's nothing here. But with that said, folks, I think we cut it right here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed my commentary and my thoughts, please don't forget to like the video. If you're interested in more reaction videos, which will probably also be about the day before when we are getting more, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel. It would may help out a great deal. Also make sure to check out my other channels I have. Uh, one is my main channel, which is at chaosmall or youtube.com slash chaosmallfx because partner channel. And my other channel is at mole under management here on YouTube. And we are all doing live streams there, tips and tricks, guides and reviews. So if you're interested in that, stop by to say hi. And again, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time.